I'm Ben. I'm a violinist and I was born in New Zealand before I came over here when I was eight years old to study at the Hudi Menyon School. My parents only had one classical CD in the house when I was a kid, which was Nigel Kennedy's Four Seasons. And that sort of became my, my first inspiration as a young violinist. It was actually when Nigel Kennedy came to Wellington when I was about six and a half, seven, and somehow I managed to, um, to get the opportunity to meet, kind of, in a way, my first violin idol, who I looked up to, and went, went to his dressing room after a concert, and he said, you know, great to meet you, why don't you play me something? So I played in what I was learning uh, in my Suzuki book at the time, which happened to be the first movement of Bach double violin concerto, and he, um, and he, you know, looked quite impressed, and then, joined in. So we played the first movement Bach double together, which was probably the highlight of my life up until that point. Um, and I think uh, his, his first words when we finished was something like, um, oh, fucking brilliant. <laughs> it was him who suggested that I should apply to the Hudi Menuhin School. And I think probably that sort of put the idea into my parents' head and into my head that maybe actually this was a, a realistic thing to try. So sent off some tapes to the Menuhin School and went over for an audition and I couldn't really quite believe it when um, when I was eight, I was awarded a scholarship with a place. Thanks to YCAT, I'm able to spend all my time as a solo artist and really explore the full range of opportunities and uh, I guess the full range of repertoire. I did a fantastic project a couple of months ago with the Royal New Zealand Ballet. It was really quite a revelation to spend a, a long, you know, extended period of time alongside ballet dancers and see how, in a way, how similar the, the, their life is to ours in terms of the discipline they put themselves through and the kind of dedication and, I guess, the amount they analyze and kind of the way they think about their dance. I was running late for a concert, so I arrived at the hall and kind of got changed very quickly, ran on stage, did the first half, that was all fine. So a friend of me came Backstage in the interval and just said, look, you do realize, right, that from your top button to your bottom button is undone. So everyone on the whole right-hand side of the hall <laughs> was getting a very nice view of my chest. The long-term objective, I think, has to be to be able to communicate music freely as an artist and not as a violinist. A kid kid came to me, seven, looking up to me. I think I would say, wait until next week, Nigel Kennedy's coming. <laughs>